Jen, so you spoke about Tangi and Dombele uh, in the halftime show. What was his general impact overall, though, Gary? Um, I thought it was very positive. Um, I thought he had a good game, um, scored a goal, had a couple of great runs where he carried the ball. I think, you know, he provides something a little bit different when he's on the ball at times. You know, he's able to, you know, drop his shoulder and, and go in a different direction and, and leave people behind him. I think the one big concern that I have about him is the fact that although he's had a, a really good game, Spurs have had to substitute him after 70 minutes. For me, for somebody who looks to be very athletic and very fit, he doesn't seem to be able to get through 90 minutes on a consistent basis. You know, this is the great burst where he's carried the ball so far. Um, but overall, I think it was a, another step in the right direction for Ndombele. Um, and if he can continue, and if he can improve his fitness, then I think Spurs, you know, have a, a really talented player on their hands that will serve the club well long term. But that, that fitness aspect does concern me. Is that fitness or is that within him, he maybe just lacks that desire to hurt himself? Because as a, as a professional footballer, Jolien did it, I did it, you have to do it. You have to hurt yourself when it's hurting. I, I feel like yeah. you're right. I agree with you there, Gary. So, Michelle, I agree with you there, Gary. But how, how does he then get the fitness that he needs if he's keep on taking him off? There's yeah. been opportunities when you can stay on the field. And as you said, you have to go through that hurt. But the manager has to put you in through that hurt. And you then think, well, you come out the back end of it with a bit more confidence and a bit more fitness. But he's not even giving him the opportunity to do that. I don't feel... There was a need to bring him up today. Yeah. Um, I still felt he was able to contribute. I still feel that he would have been able to to maybe give you that little burst um, when obviously with, when Spurs were a little bit yeah. deeper, he may have been able to transition into attack. Yeah, well, let me suggest the one reason he did it, and that is because it was Suzoko who replaced him and Mourinho saw Suzoko as a more solid defensive option for him with his team 1-0 up mm -hmm. with 20 minutes left to play, which... You know, I, I don't necessarily agree with that, but I'm not in Mourinho's shoes. Well, I feel like you guys just wrapped my mind because you teed me up for this tweet here who, who says about Ndombele that he's a joy to watch, bricks up play, takes people on, picks up passes, drives through the thirds. I, I'd love to know as to why we don't see him for the full 90 minutes. I'm sure we all like to know why as well, which completely echoed what both of you has mentioned.